be doing, Klein? Shaking down Jigtown for a new wife? No, just paying yours a visit. Seeing as you've been jipping her Irish for three years already. <laughs> well, don't leave a bite mark on her ass. Or Lou will frame you for that Mitchell case. They found him on Alvarado near Maria's Bakery. Arms lacerated and caked. Wrist cut. Broken neck. Third-degree burns on the head. Needle marks from the toes up. Holes cut in the cheeks and upper arms. That help you sleep better, Jerry? Roy, I'm not just curious. I worked the McAllister case with Hayden in 87. You want my take or not? Of course, I do. I think the kid's a ringer. I don't see any logical predetermined pattern in what they did. These cocksuckers had a bowl. They went loco on him for display, thinking you'd search for a serial killer. Well, tough luck. The case is in narco anyway. And has been for too long. We don't make any progress on this soon. They're gonna get their goddamn wish. Have you spoke to Hayden about this? No, not yet. Oh, yeah. Mike, where the hell you been? Jerry, I gotta go. Thanks, buddy. Good luck. Well, detective, that was fast. You weren't speeding, were you? Come on, <laughs> to see you. It's all the hookers, boss. Well, they charged double for ex cops with mean streaks. You gotta move uptown. Probably wondering what I've been doing for a week. Well, don't flatter yourself. I don't think that much about you. Well, Sue wasn't too happy about me throwing a suspension party in the first place. And with Fantessa chewing up my ear, kind of closed the case. You've been pulling the port to Sergeant Williams? Hey, she likes to play hide the salami with Petey Scapegoat of the Month. I'm glad to oblige. So Sue's gone. So who's one for the records? Anyway, that big coon Hopkins, he won me a clean 500 when he crippled Ryan in the sixth. So I decided to celebrate. Yeah, it's good to see you're exercising. Listen, uh, while you're running Helter in Hollenbeck, how's Holly? She's good. Don't tell me you don't recognize Mr. Big H bleeding all over your work shoes. I gotta run now. Call Higgins and Doheny. They know how to handle this. Here, take the key. I gotta face a shooting board for this? For justice. Don't worry about it. Call Hayden tomorrow. This is Detective Klein. Detective Doheny, please. 
Joe. Get over to the Olympic with Al now. I got three dead here. Room 324, no patrol. It's open. Brooding again, are you, Roy? Just drink it in the dark. I'll see. And a drink. I hope I'm not disrupting a party of one. Sure. Uh, it's okay. How with the glasses? We're among cops. Where's Holly? You're not fighting, are you? No, she just knows I need to be alone. I know how you feel, Roy, believe me. Don't let this little misstep eat at you. Misstep? Well, not yours. Michael's. How'd you know he was there? you think gave Michael back his gun? Have you ever considered making me aware of Mike's new gig? That's late night infantry. Before he shoots an FBI top ten and some crack whore and leaves me another one for off-duty target practice. Yes, it has occurred to me. Boy, I regret those course of events. But I really loved your ditch in my infantry. That is the way we're going to get rid of all the vermin of Los Angeles, like Juan Arroyo. Either I'm too drunk, or too tired, or too fucking overworked to think about that right now. Son, I respect your condition, and I know you need your rest. But... To this question, I need a response. You know my record. Even better than that. You know my work habit. So, if you're looking for a verbal agreement, you disappoint me, Seymour. That's exactly what I expected to hear, Roy. But if I find this is how you're pocketing your executioners, I'll go after you. Be glad that you're dealing with a seasoned servant of the peace, Roy. Lesser men would take offense. Give my love to Holly, Roy. I'm in the shot. You doing Klein? Shaking up jigs.